All right, guys, we're here on Desert Oasis with Huck now up 2-0 over QXC. And it looks like QXC might be a little bit upset after those two losses. Sean, how does that factor into the game? Well, first of all, I guarantee you that this is at least a little startling to QXC to have lost two games to insane aggression, when really QXC is the sort of player who aggresses until he loses. That is the one way that we normally see QXC end up losing games. And there's QXC at the north as the purple Terran. In the bottom, we have Huck as the green Protoss. And, you know, I've actually played quite a bit with QXC. And he is an extremely pleasant winner. He's really nice when he wins. And I know he really doesn't think much of the games that he wins. You know, he wants to improve. But he hates losing. He hates losing. Even if, you know, we're testing a strategy and he's like, hey, I'm having trouble versus this. Can you do it versus me? And he loses. He's like, God! You know, it's like a practice game. Well, perhaps it's not that severe by any means. But, I mean, he has <laughs> said, I hate losing. I've never actually been around him when he's lost. But, I mean, he is just... I can tell that, I mean, already a little bit of silence in the last game where he, where Huck was trying to be playful and talking and QXC, you know, he's really going into focus mode at this point in time. All right. So looking at QXC, looks like uh, we can't really detail or talk about too much in detail what he's uh, going right now. Same as Huck. But uh, one thing I want to talk about is void rays are quite common on this map. Being able to yeah. take yeah. Uh, the gas there from uh, either side of either spawn point. So do you think we're going to see some little void ray play from Huck? I think we might see a little bit of Void Ray play here. Just a little Void Ray on the left, and it is the most annoying thing in the universe because it has range 7, which means you have to get all your units all the way flushed with the left side of your main, and those refineries are easily take downable unless you have some sort of Viking or some Thor up. I wouldn't be surprised to see QXC do the style that we saw in game one, getting the factory up fast, getting the tanks, and then just sort of blind getting that Viking. That might work very, very well. But look at Huck being so annoying already, having that probe dart in there. He pulls it back, because look at this. He's going to heal up with shields. Mining the minerals had nothing to do at all with uh, any sort of income. It was just a good amount of time for him to get back to full shields. And look at him, popping right back into harassing mode. QXC knows that that probe is coming back, opting to build that first marine there instead of throwing on a tech lab. Or he might just be preparing for the... Uh for the uh, void rays that are going to be coming quite soon as he suspects. We do see another gas down before the cybernetics core from Huck. And now QXC does have his uh, SCV there. Looks like he is going to be able to scout really nothing right now because uh, we do have that cybernetics core just now going down. Back in QXC's base, he does have his orbital command just now finishing and also uh, warping, or not warping, but building another marine right now. And you know, Huck... I, I, I casted some games that he played in the uh, Team Liquid US Invitational. Huck was in the third, fourth place match against Louder. And I noticed that many times Huck forgot to chrono boost his Nexus. And here, right before the series of chrono boosts started, Huck was at 80 uh, energy with his Nexus. Very, very unusual. Very late. So I don't know if that's intentional, but, you know, given my experiences with Protoss, that's almost certainly um, a, a flaw at the very least. He needs to be chrono boosting that. Look, still having plenty of chrono boost to do a third consecutive Nexus chrono boost and chrono boost that gateway and still have a little bit left so he can get the warp gate in a moment. <laughs> still waiting for the uh, tech from Huck going back over into QXC's base. He's going to be adding on another Rax. Pretty mm. similar strategy that we saw in the first game from QXC. Might be seeing quite the same build from him. Uh, looks like he's going to be going down now to three racks. Also has a Reaper out. Going to be, uh, I thought he's going to be maybe sending that to Huck's base, but looks like he's just going to use it to look pretty sweet there in his base. And uh, <laughs> there's the Stargate from Huck right behind his mineral line. And uh, uh. we're going to be seeing some Void Rays, guys. Get ready. And I love how Huck builds the Stargate and then immediately rallies it. Look, if you just click on the Stargate and then go up to QXC's main, and you will see that there is a little rally point directly on that command center. And it looks like QXC is continuing to make Reapers until he finishes that Nitro Pack upgrade, giving the Reapers that huge boost to their speed. And I think that this will really, really catch his opponent way off guard. I mean, rarely ever does QXC, you know, begin playing passively like this. And Huck has already seen that QXC kind of liked this uh, build in the first game. So it might be the case that Huck is assuming that's going to happen. But no, a whole bunch of Reapers are preparing to bounce right into the main. Look at that. Three tech labs going down. And oh, no, no, Void Ray coming out. Looks like it's going to be a Phoenix. Oh, my goodness. QXC. Oh, you're going <laughs> to be in a little bit of good shape for now. It looks like Huck has watched some of Noni's games doing the good old Phoenix action.
<laughs> Look at uh, Huck throw down that force field, trying to block that SCP from uh, not seeing the Stargate, and he does so successful. And then he just throws down a scan to see what Huck is up against, because he knows that he was hiding something, uh, hiding it enough to throw down a force field. And now here are some Reapers there right outside of Huck's base. He's going to pop up right on this Stargate, possibly even taking out that pylon. So he does have four Reapers. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, look at them darting up. They just move so fast. Look at them one-shotting so many probes. Five probes are down. Six. There's seven going down. And he is doing serious damage, going straight for the gas. He's actually killed two more. He's at 13, 14, 15 probe kills. 16. Oh my god, there are no probes left. And look, he manages to trap all of these Reapers, but unfortunately traps them directly next to the mining probes. <laughs> so a lot more shots go off. And look at the unit counting station. 13 probes left for Huck. The surprise attack is so effective. Looks like Huck bounced over to his opponent's main in the meantime and killed off two workers, almost certainly one of those mules. But QXC, look at this brilliant play. He double gasses early so he can afford all these Reapers and all these tech labs. And then after he's done making the Reapers, notice how he's getting Stim and the Combat Shield upgrade. And he's getting a Starport. So he's going to have plenty of Marines and Medivacs for a first push coming up real soon here. Looks like Huck is kind of adjusting this. He did lose 20 probes right there, which is really going to hurt his economy. That's just so many probes. He, he has so many sentries right now in the mineral line. He's going to be continuing to build phoenixes here. He does have about three right now, but uh, he's really in a tough situation right now as there's just so many Marines in the mineral line of QXC. We also have that starport finished right now. Looks like he's going to move that over and switch with the factory there right on top of that reactor, opting to build those uh, Vikings. And we also do see a little bit more of an aggressive, uh, aggressive move from Huck, but Huck is really in a poor situation right now as he lost so many probes in that last attack by QXC. Man, I mean, Huck really playing, I think, very intelligently given the map. And super impressive that Huck is deploying such a wide gamut of strategies in this in this play, especially strategies that he typically does not do. And QXC, though, I mean, the timing of that Reaper attack was flawless. I mean, pretend for a moment that Huck had gone for a Void Ray, and it was rallied directly to QXC's base. That means that QXC would have popped up right when there was no defense at all in Huck's main and would have ended the game immediately. Regardless, we're seeing a brilliant follow-up by QXC. Look at this, even planning to get a four in addition to all these Marines. I don't know how he can find the money to do this, but he doesn't care. He just wants to hurt him. <laughs> oh, wow. Some great move there by QXC. Huck went in to try to grab another uh, SCV, and uh, he ends up sniping down the Phoenix that was uh, Graviton beaming that SCV. Going back over into Huck's base, he does have a Twilight Cancel now. Twilight Cancel finishing right now. Uh, going to be seeing if he's going to be getting any upgrades. Oh, nope. He's just going to throw down the Templar archives, opting for some Templars here in this map. And really, I haven't seen too many Templars lately. Yeah, you know, I think this is a very smart move, given this map. First of all, very long distances that buys a lot of time to get the Templar Archives up, especially considering the huge hit Huck took from all of those Reapers. He can't really get that many minerals because he's low on probes, but he still can keep up the same gas income. And notice that that's exactly what we're seeing in Huck's resource count. So he's just going to replace that with a whole bunch of Templars, so that way he can possibly hold off this gigantic mass marine army that's about to barrel down his front. And my god, look at QXC getting every single tech structure he possibly can. Look at Ghost Academy going down. As we're seeing tons of marines, a Thor coming out, two more medevacs. QXC playing super safe and getting an ultra big army for a giganto push. We do even see a medevac waltzing its way around the left side of the map. So big scary time coming up for QXC. QXC did try to drop that uh, medevac with those eight marines in the peon line of Huck, but just Huck had so many units there, so many uh, sentries there that he just opted to go ahead and pull that back instead of losing it. And now we see Huck moving out of his base, possibly going for a little bit of an aggressive play here from QX or from Huck. But uh, I think QXC is going to be ready for it. He has so many units right now. I mean, look at it. Now he's just going to load up the Thor and all those Metarines in there and just do so much damage. And I mean, even if Huck does manage to poke in there and do a little bit of damage in QXC's main, he can comfortably pull everything back and be fine. I'm a little surprised that QXC isn't moving out yet. There he finally now moves out, and he's looking to be in really good shape. I mean, I even think this small group of Medic Marine, if positioned properly, would be able to hold off this big push by Huck. We do see QXC dropping the uh, units that he put in, all of his Menefacts, right outside of his base. He's going to be opting uh -huh. to get all of those, and this is going to be quite interesting, as we have Huck <laughs> with his entire force 
outside of QXC's base, and QXC has no idea opting to take his medevacs and all of his units and drop them outside of his base. So it looks like we might see a base trade right now if uh, Huck decides to be aggressive. It looks like he might be waiting for that uh, psionic storm to finish. There it goes, finishing. We do see a scan from QXC in his base, and there he <laughs> sees it. He sees all of those units load back up instantly, and now he's freaking out right now as he sees so many units from Huck. One thing to watch is these storms is they just demolish Marines, so we'll have to see. There's one storm. Look at, oh my god, so many Marines lost right there. So many Marines low right now. There's some great force fields from Huck, and he's going to be uh, opting to just back off, which is a really smart play right now. I mean, that was a pretty phenomenal job that QXC did just there. I'm um, trying to defend, but Huck was even better killing off so, so, so many of those Marines. And look, there's a little baby push going down here at the bottom left. Look at QXC's Thor putting a little bit of hurt on. Oh, nice micro by Huck, identifying what the target firing was and pulling back appropriate now appropriately and now we have Huck trying to do a little bit of rebuilding. Ooh, nice drop in the main by QXC. He's stimming, he's target firing the Templar archives. Huck trying to defend with probes. Might be able to pull it off. Already a Marine goes down and there's one zealot in there, but look at this nice micro by Huck. This is what he's known for, trying to pick off all of these probes as best that he can. Um kind of a an insane game at this point. Yeah, that uh, Thor is still wrecking those uh, <laughs> units there on the left side. We did oh, see a feedback, feedback from that Templar. Wow. One HP right now. And look at these Marines just taking out so many probes in the main base of Huck. And wow, that was just a crazy last five minutes of this game. I mean, I love that poke by Huck where he goes in, storms the Marine, and is just like, nah, I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> just comfortably backs off with 13 kills under his belt. And we've seen the Reaper harass at the start of the game, and now this huge counterattack, and Huck with the very clever storm. Oh, no! I don't know if anyone caught that, but at the very south end, Huck was trying to warp in some more Templar, and instead he just stormed twice with his remaining Templar because they were still selected. <laughs> that goes to show you how easy it is to mess up those mechanics and how much it can bite you in the ass. It kind of reminds me of when I try to hit hold position when I have sentries in my group and instead hit the G button and throw down a bunch of Graviton fields. And here we have it, a huge drop from QXC and the main of Huck. Looks like he's going to be taking down that Templar Archives. He might even just retreat right now. Uh, looks like he's going to actually try to fight, taking out the Nexus of Huck. He does drop that Nexus. Ooh. Let's see if he opts to fight right here. Looks like he is going to possibly load up, trying to load up. Oh, and there's a great storm. So oh. many units are lost right there from that storm. Trying to see how many kills that uh, Templar got right there. Looks like it only counted two, but uh, there were so many deaths right there on the uh, Terran side. And look at uh, QXC continuing to take out as many units. And look at these uh, Stalkers actually warping in. They're right above that Thor, opting to take out that medevac before. Oh, no. wow, that was actually really close as QXC oh. was looking to pick up that Thor, uh, but he opted not to. And it uh, looks like that pylon is possibly going to die. So there's that Thor just doing so much damage right now. And Huck is on one base right now. Looks like we see another expansion going up from QXC at the high yields on the right side of the map. And what a game we have right now, Sean. And Huck criticized me for putting this map in the map pool. This map is awesome. Look at the games that it generates, you know, and I'm loving this play by Huck to get all these Templar because obviously they're great against Marines, but who would have thought to use them aggressively for feedbacking on the Thors and the Medivacs? Very, very, very clever. Medivacs is a little bit of a popular choice for the feedback, but the Thor, wow, I was really surprised by that. And then look at this Thor already barreling down this Nexus. Is he going to lose it? Oh my God, he doesn't cancel it, Huck. Not paying attention at all. This Thor doing so much hurt. And it looks like Huck is just going for the big counterattack, but it doesn't look like he has that many Templar. Uh, in fact, he has exactly zero Templar in this army. And Huck needs to win big with this attack in order to come back from this game. Yeah, it looks like uh, Huck is a little bit frustrated right now. We also have four Ghosts from QXC, which are just going to be huge. Definitely watch out for the MPs. As we're about to have an engagement right here between these two teams. No, they're not getting married. They're about to fight. We do have that Archon <laughs> going a little bit uh, a little bit aggressive there, but he does pull back. We see a scan from Huck, and uh, watch for these EMPs, guys. These are going to be huge right here between these two players. Looks like he's uh, about to engage. Looks like we see a stem there. An EMP misses, only catches a few, and there's the EMP catching a little like about half of the units, but some great force fields from Huck taking out the entire force of QXC pretty much. Huck is in a great situation right now as QXC really does not have too much to defend with, but we have those STVs popping out as many units as possible, and all of the units of Huck are going to be quite low on shields as they did suffer an EMP. And right now I really can't tell who's winning this fight. And literally one moment ago, 
Uh, QXC lost the medevac that had the Thor at the south end, and now we have a planetary fortress at the right, and the stalkers run right by it. Now, QXC will be able to live through this. He's going to take some serious losses. He's making a lot of marauders, but he can micro in between those buildings and do some pretty decent damage against these stalkers, but uh-oh, losing yet more units now. QXC could afford another Thor. There's the Thor finally going down. A lot of stalkers popping in this main. QXC is not dead yet. He is still trying to hold on because, again, Huck needs to win with this huge attack because he is just so far behind. QXC might just have to rebuild barracks by his uh, other orbital commands. And look at this. Yeah, at the right side, we have a ton of barracks getting thrown down. QXC refusing to give up yet. Just re-rallying all his units back. God, that Thor takes so long to build. And it is just barely halfway done. And look, these poor little marauders trying to put up a good fight. But looks like 12 stalkers are in this main still. Killing off the tech labs. Going to really screw up the production. Yeah, it's going to be a really close fight here as QXC knows that he's probably lost his main. He's just buying as much time as he can, waiting for these racks to get fully operational, not even putting on uh, tech labs on the most of them, not even building off of those two there. A little bit of a blunder. I guess he's worried about his main base right now. He does have both these uh, expansions up. He's not really hurting uh, at all in the economy area. There we go, throwing down two tech labs and opting to build, <laughs> canceling one of the tech flags, <laughs> lifting off that other one. QXC is super frustrated right here, guys. And uh, he's about to lose almost all of his bases, even a pylon going down in the main of QXC's base from Huck right now. And what Huck really needs to do is figure out a way to get gas. This is the prime opportunity for Huck to expand to that left gold mineral patch, because look at QXC. This is his comfort zone. Uh, any zone that has like 80 barracks that he owns. He loves this mass barrack style. He loves the fact that he can be aggressive and expand a lot. Look at QXC finally pulling all his structures back, including that orbital command. He is now scanless. He needs to make absolutely certain he gets some sort of turret set up everywhere. Otherwise, he's going to be so susceptible to DTs. Huck really broke right now. Doesn't have that option. He is finally now expanding to the left, so he's going to be in great shape once that gets up. But look at QXC getting so many units, knowing he's at a little bit of an advantage and look at the stem at the bottom left going straight in there for the workers he is he has taken out one two they don't kill units as fast as reapers but you know when there's nothing there to defend what can you do insane game look at qxc taking the top left island oh my god what an epic game one thing to note is that QXC is severely behind right now in the supply depots. He's having to throw down so many supply depots there in the back of the high yield expansion. He's now at 57 of 33. And when you look <laughs> at the forces of Huck, there are just so many forces. Looks like we're going to see uh, the focus fire from Huck on this planetary fortress. QXC does need to repair that. He has quite the minerals right now, but no repairs. Oh my god! Right he needs to repair this. There's no repair on the planetary oh! fortress, and it is going to fall. Wow. A huge blunder from QXC. As, uh, he's QXC trying... takes out the Nexus at the bottom left. Oh my god, they just traded bases. So here's Huck not having any Nexuses finished, just chilling at the left side of the map. QXC at 80, or excuse me, QXC at 51 food. Huck at 83 food. This game is insane. And QXC still has not landed that orbital command at the left. He has moved his SCVs over there. And here comes Huck seeing that there is this base up. But QXC only just now is getting enough supply to even build anything. So he's going to have to back up and hopefully be able to repair that command center this time. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy finish to what has been a crazy game to begin with. And it uh, looks like QXC might be losing this high yield, but no, that Planetary Fortress is going to be focused, and there's a repair from QXC. Huck needs to back off there. He really has no unit or no minerals to reinforce this force of his. And here come the SCVs. Actually, no, they're <laughs> going to be rallied to the, to the mineral line, and QXC might be able to hold this off. Holy crap right now. This is an insane <laughs> game. I'm insane. I'm making up words. This game is out of control right now. And look, QXC has enough units to defend against this now. He has all these barracks up and running. Top left has, is now getting landed. I really think QXC might win this. Uh, just sitting here thinking, we have two players starting here and here. I think the players can't see that, but I'm just going to say... <laughs> Those are the spawn points, guys. And now if you look at the map, we have a high yield there from Huck and a high yield from QXC. Looks like they just did a 180 on the base spawns. And now this game is just incredible. We do have a huge force from QXC here in the middle. Looks like we're all going to see another uh, fight between these two players. And right now, QXC is going to be winning this fight. It looks like uh, those Zealots are doing a ton of damage there with some nicely placed force fields. But uh, some more Zealots are going to be reinforcing that. Uh, attack, but also QXC is going to be re reinforcing his own wow. forces, and it looks like Huck might actually win that fight as QXC has to fall back. 
And look at QXC, just maxed out with every single upgrade out of those tech labs. He still hasn't begun mining from that top left location. He's just been spending so much effort microing. And look at how brilliant QXC is. You heard me say at the start of the game that he loves aggression. He loves getting in his opponent's face. After losing a battle, look at this little force at the bottom, moving down there to try to pick off a theoretically rebuilt bottom left. But no, not Huck. He's too broke for that. He has had so much to deal with all game long that he hasn't even gotten the chance to re-expand the bottom left, and I'm not going to lie, probably the safest place to expo is that top left expansion next to that starport. Huck just basically rotating around the map in a very yin-yang-like fashion. <laughs> we do have QXC coming in and sniping these pylons, taking down these warp gates of Huck. Looks like he's going to be able to get this other one. He needs to get that other one closest to the minerals, but it looks like he's going to stem and try to get out of there as fast as possible, opting to take down another pylon uh, where this this far in the game, this late in the game, and this crazy of a game where every pylon really counts right now. Looks like we do see a void ray finally about 40 minutes later, however long this game is coming from Huck. <laughs> he knows that uh, there might be a, an expansion or an island expansion from QXC. Looks like that uh, void ray is going to be going over there. Really no defenses from QXC to be able to take that void ray out. But look at QXC. So many racks right now and so many forces from QXC. But look, also looking at Huck. So many zealots and so many ze or, uh, stalkers from Huck. So really, I don't know who's going to win this game right now. The problem is that as QXC's army gets bigger and bigger, and look at this, two medevacs there to heal everyone back to full health. With this big of an army, QXC gets an increasingly large advantage. When it's just zealots that don't have that um, charge upgrade on them yet, when it's just stalkers and sentries, it becomes too hard to deal with these mass marine marauder balls. That's why you need Colossi, you need Templar of some sort. We do see Huck has been able to take out this top left expansion from mining. The orbital command is almost down. But the big thing to note is that even though those gold expos are really juicy and get your money real fast, note that QXC is almost broke and he's now expanding to the bottom right. <laughs> Both of these players just slowly curling around the map, and in the middle we do see that there are three Marauders that are poking around there, trying to do a little bit of damage, aided by a nice little medevac drop, and still no Expo there, and look at this, QXC just charging up to take out this pylon. Nice little bit of control going on there, and he does manage to take it out, so the, now, this game is still crazy, in case you guys didn't notice. <laughs> that only puts uh, Huck at one warp gate uh, right now in operation, so that's really going to put him down in the unit-producing structures. Uh, but uh, to be honest, he really doesn't have that much uh, minerals and gas to build out of, so it's looked like he's not going to be that uh, far behind. He does have also have that Stargate there, opting to build the Void Ray from it, and now he does see this command center coming up from QXC with those two Void Rays. Looks like that command center is possibly going to be lost. I'm not sure if uh, actually Huck is going to be able to pull back there and not finish that, but look at the range on those void rays just harassing those marines from QXC. That's an incredible advantage that the patch 13 has not yet come out yet. So Huck still has the ability to just make these range 7 void rays, but here come some Vikings doing sick range damage. They do they have range 9 on those things, but here comes Huck. Here comes the huge confrontation. Huck currently is cut in. He has broken up the reinforcements and these barracks. Here comes the big confrontation. Huge force fields coming off. So many zealots able to get in there and rip apart all of these marauders. QXC needs to win this fight or he loses the game, and here come the void rays in from the left as well. More insane force fields, but QXC looks like he's a little stronger on the ground. QXC needs to win with all these void rays, but oh no, getting caught out of position. QXC has the rest of his forces evaporate, but um, they're still pretty even in food, and QXC getting nothing but marines out of here right now. Cancel that command center, and right now QXC is broke. Huck is almost broke. QXC needs to find some miracle way to defend this attack and get that bottom expo up. You know, in casting all these games with QXC, if there's ever a person that could actually hold something like this off, it will be him. So we'll have to see. There he goes, stemming in. Looks like he's going to be able to take out one of those uh, sentries and a lot of zealots right now. But really, he takes out another void ray. Wow, it looks like he is possibly going to be able to hold this. There's some great control from QXC on only those four units taking out so many zealots. And uh, now you see so many units taking out uh, from Huck taking out those racks. But it looks like QXC might actually be able to hold this. Actually, no, he loses all of these. And there's the GG.